And welcome back to Vroom Vroom Dana. Thanks again, you guys, for all tuning in to yet another video out here with Joey Mack. Uh, we're out on the YZ250 today. I feel like it's kind of been a minute since we went out together, had a jolly old time, and killed ourselves in the 100 degree heat. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. Pug! Oh! Joey! Oh no! Oh! oh. What is he doing? Attack dog! Oh my gosh, he almost died by a pug. I did want to start by thanking you all so much for the tremendous support with the new goggle company, Flux Vision. You guys are showing more support than I can have ever imagined. And I just wanted, like seriously, from the bottom of my heart, no homo, say thank you so much to everybody that started to pre-order goggles. It, it really does mean the world. It, it, it's insane to see that you guys are supporting us so much. You guys still wanted to get your pre-orders in. Uh, we still have every design still available, which the way things are going, the Flux Elite one might actually be the first goggle to sell out. That's the white and black one with the gold lens and it has the white strap. That one is selling so fast. Those things are selling like hotcakes. So uh, that's probably the most popular design, but in the, all future videos, I'll put a link in the bio. I'll put a link into the description if you wanted to check them out also. If you did want to go over there and show the support. A little dirty right now. A little, a little street riding on the YZ. 250s hey look at this look at this over here everything's all good boom fire all over the side of these hills dang that's gnarly kind of actually helped burn all the weeds down but i guess a fire is never really a good thing is this what i seen on the news the other day yeah that's why i blew up <laughs> dang i have not obviously I haven't been over here yet you haven't taken me over here but i, I haven't got to come over here oh yet. you haven't I've been wanting to come over here. This is crazy. You know, one of my videos I tried, the fire department caught us, and it wasn't good. They were trying to blame it on us. <laughs> I like how the uh, the weeds are killed. The weeds are dead. Look at all these rocks out here. Yeah, it's this some... Is like a, I could ride here for freaking years. It's a little haven right now. It's pretty sweet. Nice, like a little, this must be a little road right here going down. Let's ride around here, then. Let's do some... Burned all the way down. So I want to get some third-person shots. Ooh. Thick rock hops. Okay. Let's see what the heck we got out here. I'm down for some third person. That sounds dope. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, your goggles look good. I just, I can't get over it. They look so good. I re like, if like we were in a bar and it was late and you were wearing your helmet and those goggles, I'd probably smash. Don't tell Dom. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can go up this. <laughs> Look at this side curve, it's like a ramp. Yeah, um, I don't know about that. Oh, you got it. Well, of course you're going to say that. Look at this jump right here. Over it? No, no, down there. Alright, well, here goes nothing. Shoot, man, those are my new bars. Okay, I had the Joey Mac problem right there. My bike died. I had no chance. Back with this pack of zigzags in this bag of this weed. It gives me the shit needed to be the most meanest and see on this sea on this earth. And since birth, I've been cursed with this curse. Bike died right when I got up there. No, I I was feeling good and I was feeling good and then it just shut off. I was like, I'm fucked. <laughs> I almost knocked the wind out of myself. It was close. Ah, oh, dude, I almost knocked the wind out of myself. That was awesome. How am I supposed to come off this thing? Just gas it? Well, at least my bike stayed running. Yeah. Okay, one more time. One more time here. 
<laughs> Does it count? <laughs> oh my god. I did like a, a 90, like not a full 180, but I kind of whipped it off. You may think I did that not on purpose, but it was. Just one of those days when I wanted to catch sun rays. Fun to get blunted on a Sunday. All right, so it's only fair. Uh -huh. Since you made me do that, can I at least pick something for you to do? I'll let you pick something. Pick me some. Okay. I need some third person of you, so. It can't be like retarded. It can't be over the top? No. How about like 90%? Can't ride over there. Oh, there's a big fence right there. Yeah, you can ride over here, but over there you can't. Okay. It's like something about turtles and tortoises, like, I guess they're endangered or oh, something. The wild sea tortoise? Yeah, the sea tortoises are, they come out during fires. Oh, okay. So, uh, let's just go behind me. They actually drop them out of the plane with parachutes and they put the fires out. The sea turtles? Sea turtles, yeah. Put the fires out? Yeah, that's what they're for. Wow. I can't believe you didn't even know that. They never taught me that in school. Really? Yeah, I went for three years. Oh, yeah, they just carry them with them. Wow. Let them loose and they just spit seawater all over. Oh, so that, okay, then, okay, let me let me riddle you this. Okay. So when they're flying over and they drop the red powder, yeah. the turtles are in that red powder. Yeah, turtles are in the red powder. Oh, so is the powder like actual little eggs and then they hatch when they hit the ground? Well, that, those are actual sea tortoises. So oh, so. they get into the fire, they, uh, you know. It's like a chia pet. You put water on it and it expands. Yeah, but these are, this is fire. And so they expand in the fire. Yeah, Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. That's smarter every... It's like eight feet big. Eight feet? Mm -hmm. How have I never seen one? That's crazy. Because when the fire's out, they some of them stay around and most of them disappear. Wow. No, I don't like that. We could do better than that. Here we go. Here's some, here's some pretty jagged rocks over here. Yeah. That. That's what I want. No. Yeah. Dude, it's already like a little hill. Just launch up it. There's only like three jagged rocks that could end your life. Yeah, that's three too many. No, it's like two less than too many. All right, um, give him a 85% chance on completing this. I don't know. I feel. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I'm down to 75. He almost fell in that rut. <laughs> We're quickly going down. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Not bad, dude. It worked. Not bad. That was dope. At first, I was like, oh, he's not going fast enough. But then I was like, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just don't want to go up and fall backwards because that jagged rock poking up right there does not look like oh, a friend. That jagged rock. That one's all right. Oh. Oh. Ow. 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 You plan on riding up this rock? <laughs> Walk around oh, dude, I messed up my pants. <laughs> oh, that actually like hurt. That low key hurt. Yeah. <laughs> the heck? No, there's something down here. I don't know. What is that stuff? I don't know. It's like a bunch of just looks like drugs. <laughs> I don't know. That one looks like a crossbow. What the heck? Oh, dude, my hand is killing me. You all right? No, I have to go to the doctor. What the fuck? Dude. What is all this? This is a freaking crossbow. Why would it be under there? That's dope. You know that whole like meth lab explosion thing over here in the hills, but I mean, maybe it's like a drop off point or something. I don't know. I mean, you could see around here like the fire obviously didn't spread. There's no weeds or anything under there. Oh, the fire can't get under there. Dude, I wonder if they totally missed it, like the firemen and stuff. Dude, they had, there's no way a fireman crawling under that rock. Dude, open this up. That is crazy. This is tight. I call dibs. I wonder if they miss other stuff. Dude. You don't get dibs on that. I already know. called dibs. Finders dibs keepers. That thing's nothing anyhow. You call dibs on a rock? This is really well packaged. This is a lot of work just to open oh this. Oh my god. That asteroid is really wrapped up in there. It has to be something good. Oh yes. It's like Christmas. This is like Christmas 
Dude. What the heck? I'm glad we went riding today now. Yeah. I was like, this 100 degree heat, I'm not feeling it. Freaking, uh, okay, I'm just going to leave that on there because it's being annoying. This is a lot of work. Dude, I don't even care what that is. Look how dope this is. Oh, no, damn it, for real. What? This isn't a rock. This is a freaking handgun. Oh my god. No way. Okay, you could have the crossbow. No, I already called dibs on this. No, you didn't. Yeah. What? Dude, what is in here then? Dude, they wrapped this thing so oh. I called dibs on that too. What, this? Yeah. You can't have two things that only. Everything. I got a freaking gun in my hand. I don't care, you're not gonna shoot me. Oh, look at this technique. Are you is it like an airsoft gun? Oh man, I'm sweating, dude. Oh, it is an airsoft gun. This is an airsoft gun. Wait. Is it? This is a 40 caliber S&W. Like a real gun. This is a real gun. Right <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my god, it is a real gun. Dude, this is a real gun right here. Oh my god, that is dope. Do we turn it in? No. They're gonna think we brought it out here. Whoever wrapped this up expected this to like go through some serious weather conditions or something. Oh gosh. Like 20 minutes later. Dude, right? Oh. What is that on top? That thing is hammered. Yeah, it is. IED, press to activate 14569. IED. IED. IED? IED, press to activate. Dude, that's like a roadside bomb. That's what they use in freaking Iraq. That's that's a remote to hit to activate the IED. What the hell what the did we man? just... Like you're calling someone. I've watched a lot of documentaries. What the hell did we just find? I'm not activating that. Activate. No way. Yeah, that's that's dumb. You didn't even want to keep the gun. You want to activate an IED? Well, we got to see where it's at. No. Yeah, how else are we going to find it? Dude, what the hell? You have to blow it up. What did we just come across? Blow the IED up. Punch the code in. Dude. This is like the real deal. Oh my, let's just think about this. Let's get a drink of water, just calm down. We're in the, this, this is weird. This is really weird. This is not good. Now I think we might actually should call the cops. No way. What do you mean no way? You can't call the cops, dude. They have a freaking IED. We don't, we found it. Okay, I say we keep the gun. We keep the crossbow. I'm keeping the gun. Okay, you keep the gun. We got to share it. That's kind of messed up that you get the gun and I get the crossbow. Dude, the crossbow's pretty bad. It's pretty sick, but the gun's cooler. I've never really seen one of those things. Yeah, it is weird. And let's just throw the phone back on. I don't even want to... I don't want to mess with that. That's sketchy. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Is that a good deal? I don't want to hurt anyone. All right, so let's put... Here, put the gun in your backpack. Here, you, you could probably strap this thing into my... I have a couple buckles on the back. Uh-huh. I don't think I... if. I don't think a cop will pull me over for having a crossbow on my back. No. I think you're the one who might get screwed. Yeah. Ah, oh, this thing's on fire. Is it hot? Yeah. Probably because someone just shot it. <laughs> or, you know, it's just, ooh, is that a visor touch? Yeah. That was weird. All right, so let's just put this back. We'll put it in that, that hole. Right. And, um, let's go ride. Let's get out of here. We've already, I think we've overstayed. Yeah. We've overstayed our visit. We overstayed for sure. What's up? What are you doing? I'm I'm putting it back under the rock. It was kind of hidden. Oh, the phone? Yeah, it was it was still like kind of showing. Okay. Yeah, so I just buried it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Taking this shit home. Everything is just fried back in these hills. That fire did some damage back here. My bike's gonna explode. <laughs> Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, oh, I'll bar right into my leg. Oh, oh, shit. 
Oh, shit, that hurt. Whoo! Oh, man. Man, that did not feel good. Oh, no! How bad did you crash? I didn't crash. I'm bringing back the old, like, early 2000 freestyle. The only thing better would be if you broke your visor off. Coming soon. Let's not put that out of the question. Exactly happened here. I want to know the truth. So I was coming down. I went a little wide. Okay. I pretty much hit this tree. That's a pretty big tree. It didn't look like it. Yeah. It kind of ripped the bars out of my hands. <laughs> and I tumbled towards the rock. Darkness, my old wants to go home. To go Dana home. needs to go home. He's going to kill himself today. Oh man. I got my ass handed to me today, man. I am, I'm tired. It's like 105 out. I need water. I'm so, so parched right now. <laughs> Probably coming down with heat stroke or dehydration, but we're going to wrap that up right there. And we're going to call that a video. My bike has taken an absolute hammering in this video, along with my leg, dude, in that canyon where the bar went into my leg. That did not feel too good. That'll be a nice wound when I get back. Joey's got my tits. That's a video. Vroom Vroom Dana. We are the Pussy Squad. And I'll talk to you guys later.